Welcome back for yet again some more Hearts of Iron 4. So uh, we have finally managed to declare war on the Nationalist Spain. And um, now that I'm looking at it, it would appear that we are losing our holdings in Africa. So let's uh, put a stop to that immediately. So just sign a dude. And, uh, well, it would appear that you know, uh, here. Excellent. So uh, it would appear that the Germans are very much uh, sending some volunteers to help uh, out their nationalist or their yeah their Nazi counterparts. But um, yeah, that, that won't really stop them at all. So uh, that's good to know. And we'll just like continue the encirclements and, and warfare and just like yeah continue onward. Okay, and now let's push. Um, like this. Let's just make like a huge swoop for all the cities. And then I'd like you to come back around for Madrid. And uh, you. I need you to. Well, let's just capture Madrid. As, that should be our first. Thing and just like do a swoop like this, just like swoop, swoop, swoop. Oh, and also be a deer and capture the airfield because if they actually have any um, any aircraft there, they're just like immediately destroyed, <laughs> just killed. Okay, just like fill up the holes. Okay, we now have a recon company too, and we have some resistance. Fighters, oof, and I forgot to enable a technology. Uh, 1939, let's get this one going, and also, um, 1939, not 40, so, ooh, we could actually already get the, mm, I think the most gains are to be gotten with uh, light tank technology, but also, uh, fighter wise it's almost 1940 so let's start with all the new fighters new generation of fighters okay uh, how about you just go like this you go here you go there uh, let's keep an eye on Madrid let's just uh, close up the hole Uh, how long before you actually capitulate? Uh, that's right over here. 21%, so we still need like that one city, which is right over here. So it really doesn't really matter uh, how much uh, territory you own, it's, it's all about uh, the victory points, unfortunately, so... Yeah. Um, so, yeah, just, oh, wait, um, uh, yeah, this is just gonna be a bit messy, but it's, it's all about just getting that naval base, I guess. Uh, meanwhile, everyone just get all the stuff filled up. I mean, it's not like he has that many more armies left, okay, he... He has, but why not? Um, we'll, we'll get this at some point. And this actually is worth five points. Hey. How about... We'll just, like, march forward. Okay. And this is the way we crash the party. So, uh, conquer. Take all states. And turn. Do not give a shit. Thanks for playing Nationalist Spain. And there we go. So now, yeah, we they capitulated. We have now all their territory. And I mean all of it. So that's, uh, that's good. And we also took their uh, military factories. So we now have some more military factories. Excellent. Um, total artillery. We almost... Oh, we already have the second edition. So let's just... Pour some in there, and uh, we still need a toad anti tank. And there we go. So, um, 
there still is some uh let's see the resistance map mode uh not, not really a problem here but sure okay uh you'll just chill here wait did i just sure let's uh redeploy all these units to just face off the Italians first. There we go, and then you guys. Okay, and I then would like there to be you guys who should just have a border with uh, Belgium for now and then you guys are re redeployed, redeployed right over there and then all of our airplanes should also be redeployed okay and then we also have like the carrier fighters right oh and then you just like I don't know chill here I don't really give a hood next we should have a lot of fighters here so we have quite a bit of close air support all these interval fighters yeah sure normal fighters and have we captured anything yes we have a couple of interval fighters so a couple more fighters and that's about it okay then i want you i just need a shit ton of fighters here so they will be fighting for all this okay and then I also want you to just be maxed out at a thousand. Next, this mission here will have all the uh, close air support units. And also all the captured close air support units, which we do not have. And then the same goes for you. I want you to run your missions right over here. Close air support missions. Okay, and then also I want you to be maxed out. So I need um, this, I, I need to have uh, full control over the air. There's no other means of really do anything. Then I also need the same thing right over here. However, in this case, we can't really do much. Uh, so yeah, we'll just have to wait for all those planes to be made and then we can uh, set the order to have all the planes made here. Okay, um, now we already have 100% world uh, tension, so that basically means that the diplomatic uh, nations can just go wild and do whatever the bloody hell they want, and they tend to do everything. So they can just declare war on anyone and have at it. Um, so yeah, that's, that's quite a bit unfortunate, but it, yeah. It's basically the limit, uh, limiting factor at this point. Okay, um, so the Italians, let's see how much, how many units you have, between 92 and 191, quite a bit, but um, we'll just need to wait for Germany to make the next move, because if he declares war on, uh, okay, let's get this one. Uh, if he declares war on Poland, then he needs to send all, a lot of units to the Polish. And at that point, you're non-aligned, but I would... Okay, you're actually declaring or well, fabricated claims on Poland. That's good. Um, perhaps in that case, I could... No, that's not a good idea. Um... Okay, how about you just join this dude? Okay, are we still making these units? So we do have everything, okay. Uh, how about we just add some more? And this seems to go well, okay. Or do I want to make anything else? Okay, uh, something else has just happened. So uh, the Finland, Finland rejects Soviet demands. Soviet diplomats have presented an ultimatum to the government of Finland demanding border adjustments in the region of Karelia. 
Uh, despite the significant buildup of Soviet forces on the border, Helsinki has rejected these demands, sitting, uh, stating that not a single foot of Finnish soil will be given willing to the Russian aggressors. International uh, observers fear that Soviet invasion may be imminent. This will not end well. No, it will not end well indeed. Um, we still need to join you f your faction, though, and we can actually join your faction. So, thank you. So, we are now part of the common turn. There we go. Right? So, they've accepted, and now we are part of the common turn. So, there we go. So, more communism just yeah helps, helps the world get better. Get better. So, uh, this means that we are uh, now defended by and also... Uh, get, get support from the Russians and this makes it that we can um, basically do what we want instead of have the enemy dictate what we what we're gonna do which is nice I really like this uh, method uh, I don't really care for this now let's get uh, the happy the one I wanted and that's all we can do for now and we can adjust join the commit to an excellent uh, adjust you even further uh, let's give you support for anti-tank and let's give you uh, something that just adds to a breakthrough soft attack yeah sure you get this one save off we go and perhaps I also just want to give you some no not more artillery I want you to hold it Okay, I'm just misclicking all over. Infantry battalions, anti-tank capabilities, anti-air, and... Uh, just some light tanks? Yeah, sure. Oh, wait, we can't, because then we need to, like, add something here. Uh, Mountaineers, defense, yeah, sure save and then perhaps also just add some light tanks but mm, later okay so call to arms for the soviet union uh, you want me to join no i will not fight finland for you i mean you're very capable of fighting finland and i mean in this case it, it doesn't really represent finland as they were in the second world war and they were very and then you white peace what yeah the Finns were very uh very good at basically uh, resisting the Russians and that had quite a bit of factors but basically they were just awesome at guerrilla warfare so yeah kudos okay uh, we are so there's justification of war against us uh, or allies so the Germans are justifying against us but why <laughs> Oh well, um, if the Germans are just gonna go at us, then that's quite unfortunate, but that's then just the way it has to go. Question though, will they go for Belgium as well? Because if they if they are, then we just have to uh, send all these guys to the Machina line. Oh well, I, I'm not even sure if that's necessary, really. But sure. Um, in that case, let's just have more units build up. Okay, that's unfortunate. Low manpower. Mm, don't really, don't really see it that way, because now we will. Okay, let's first just get our war economy going. That's, that's I suppose the first thing we really want to do. Just increase factory output and just go bananas. Okay. So production efficiency cap. Just raise it even further. Okay, uh, then we have three civilian factories because we've done all our construction. And w what do I really need? It would be nice to have some more uh, more factories, but I think I really want to... Oh, we can actually increase the radar stations here. Okay, uh, I really want to just have more anti-air capabilities. Okay, that's basically what I want, what, what I need right now and infrastructure not really a necessity right now okay uh, how are we doing here you're still waiting on something so toad anti-air okay did we actually already finish the uh, the new fighter okay air doctrine okay 
Uh, the new fighter is still in development. Okay. And how are we doing here? A thousand planes here and a thousand here. Okay, good. So that means that we can add our own, I hope. Interwar fighter, war bomber. Oh, is there still a need? Oh, there still is a need. You're upgrading and you... Why can't I, like, add you? I mean, where where, where are my fighters? There, there should be three fighters, right? Yeah, 23 free fighters. Hmm. Oh, well. Uh, let's get the new close air support units as well. And you are just gonna be over here. Good. Okay, he is just putting his whole army here. There are 113 units of infantry and then just like a shit ton of tank and all that stuff. If I can encircle that in one, that, that just in one blow, then just, yeah, it Italy falls. Which is nice. That should really happen. Um, and we have finished you. Then, uh, can we actually just get the land doctrine we want? Yes, we can. So, mobile warfare is the one we really want to get um, 1914 okay let's increase our radar efforts even further and let's start the creation of the tank I tank 2 okay and then we need actually some more oil okay good to know Okay, we're get, we're just like getting our war on, and yeah, even the Germans don't have that much uh, stationed here. And for some reason, oh, you're actually training all of your units. Hmm, perhaps I should do that as well. You? How are you? Uh, no, I can't really train because we're still replenishing equipment, right? I mean, there's a need for equipment, right? Yeah, there is. Wow. Um. Okay. I mean, how much, how many armor units, armored units do you even have? Not that much. So Zorg submits to Italy, so they just annex Albania. Italy looks to the Balkans. Apparently they do. And Bulgaria just, wow. Wow, they actually invaded Yugoslavia and now have this. And they probably took yeah, quite a bit of steel, chrome, and aluminum. Good for you, Germany. Good for fucking you. Um, <laughs> okay, who are you? Oh, you're no longer fabricating on me, or? So Germany is a war against the Soviet Union, annex states. Oh, war goals. They have war goals, but they're not at the war. No, they don't. And you're just gonna invade Poland. And just like that, you are very much increasing. Okay, I'm not sure what you're gonna do. Okay, and now the Soviet Union has declared war on Poland. Just, just look at this plan. He's just gonna mass assault here and also land his troops in Danzig. Danzig. I hope you win. I really do. Because if you get a border with Germany, that would be insanely good. So, yeah. Nice, we have just unlocked our newest fighter. And let's see. Fighter, fighter 2. Excellent. And then snack technology. Um. Still a bit early for, okay, 1940. Let's get the, the Enigma. Okay, modify. We could get Captain of Industry, Infrastructure Refinery, Backroom Backstabber, Political Power Gain. Um, I would like to have um, something, something, Political Power Gain, Trade Power factor uh, there's not really anything I really want <laughs> fuck 
Political power gain. I, su I suppose I want political power gain because now, um, well, I would like to boost communism in Portugal. Just because I can. And what we also want to do, uh, Romania. Would you also want to become more Turkey? Okay, boost popularity. popularity. How much increase do we have today? 1.35. That's plenty. So we're just going to boost a bit of communism everywhere. Just because we can, really. <laughs> And the reason why we want to do this is because these uh, nations are, uh, for now, they're like non-aligned, but they will get guaranteed by uh, the allies just just because they do they tend to do that. And um, say we ever border Romania, they are communists and they are not part of the Comitern, then we can uh, attack them without any problems. So yeah, we'll just. Put this in, uh, into play for the, the future. However, this is the end of this episode. I'd like to thank you for watching. And as always, please do leave a comment down below expressing your opinion about this series. I mean, as far as it goes, we're ready for war. So we're just going to have some more wars in the future. So thanks for watching and bye.